The United Nations World Food Programme in Namibia, in partnership with the USA Embassy in Namibia, the Namibia Trade Forum and local restaurants, have collaborated with world-renowned chefs from the USA for a feast restaurant week scheduled to take place from the 16th to the 21st of October this year. Now joining us with more information on this upcoming event is George Feather, uh, the country director and representative of the World Food Programme and Otto Bonn culinary chef and founder of Feast from the United States. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. All right. I'd like to start with you, uh, Mr. Feda. Can you please tell us more about the inspiration behind the Feast Restaurant Week and the choice of Namibia um, hosting it this year? Thank you, Lago, for having us. Mm -hmm. um, this week is a, a very um, beautiful week because it's the World Food Day Week. Yes. So celebrating food and how to make food beautiful when we grow it, when we eat it, when we store it. Uh, and so the, the feast is part of the partnerships we are having that we are bringing to Namibia to uh, create a fusion between our Namibian um, uh, chefs and culinary, culinary experts, mm -hmm. including our Kapana um, experts, uh, our Matangara experts mm -hmm. to have that fusion with American food and see what comes out of that. So it's more of a advocacy and educational uh, cultural exchange program. All right. And it's part of a lot of other activities that we follow over the next few years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mr. Borish, welcome to Namibia. <laughs> Thrilled to be here. We are happy to have you here. You are the founder of Feast. Yes. I really want to understand what Feast firstly is all about. It's a big idea, Okay. Uh, but it has to be done on the smallest level of every nation on this planet. Um, it originally stands for Feed Every American Starting Today. Mm. But now that I'm in Namibia, it stands for Feed Every African Starting Today, mm. with the hope that one day every nation on this planet will accept this and we can feed everyone among us starting today. Uh, it is an opportunity for elected officials, the grassroots, um, corporations, NPOs, NGOs to come together and work together to provide food security for the entire planet because no one on this planet should be hungry. Yeah. No one should go to bed hungry tonight. Mm -hmm. That's what FEAST is about, a renewed focus. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose to be part of this collaboration? I didn't choose this. All right. It chose me. Okay. I was born to be a chef. This was appointed to me. This is God's hands all over it. If I sat here and took credit for this, I'd be a fool. Mm -hmm. This is much bigger than me. All right. And how are you finding your stay in Namibia so far? Outstanding hospitality. Mm -hmm. Incredible. All right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, Mr. Feather, you touched on a collaboration between um, chefs from the USA that will be collaborating with some local restaurants and other chefs um, to create different cuisines. What, um, how, how will the funds that will be raised during this feast be utilized and to alleviate you know, issues such as hunger in this country? Yeah, we, we're bringing together <coughs> the chefs, the restaurants, but many other partners are behind this. Mm -hmm. We have the local community, our smallholder farmers who will be growing the food. We have schools where we'll be teaching kids how to grow healthier food. Yeah. And so um, it's, it's, it's not a one-off event. So we will keep on uh, putting a program together for the next many years. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, Namibia can actually achieve the 2030 zero hunger goal. And so to reach there, we need a series of these events. So this is just a beginning. We, we haven't looked much into the fundraising issue because mm -hmm. we don't want to lose the focus. We want to look at how do we make this sustainable. However, we, we want to prioritize uh, smallholder farmers. Uh, we want to uh, prioritize uh, youth because we need to make agriculture attractive for the youth. Right. So if you connect it to a nice plate of food that Chef Otto makes, mm -hmm. then that <laughs> makes the youth more interested in agriculture. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, that's very interesting. Now, I'm really curious to find out what it is that you will be showcasing during the Feast Restaurant Week in Namibia. There is amazing raw natural ingredients here. You have great beef, wonderful grapes. You have the Atlantic Ocean, which provides so much fish to you. Right. Uh, your, your, your wonderful raw ingredients, they're, they're locally grown, they're internationally loved. You folks export high quality ingredients. So we're just 
super stoked. When I say we're, I mean my my, my collective chef team, mm -hmm. and I think. I think the logos are going to be pleasantly surprised at what we're going to come up with. So, for example, um, the horse mackerel. It's going to be a traditional dish that one of the Namibian chefs is going to make. Mm. Uh, however, my friend Yvette, who's from Louisiana, who has a Cajun Creole background, she's going to do a interpretation on how that fish would be served, perhaps in her neck of the woods, which would be blackened, mm. which, is a, which is a very traditional style in New Orleans. So there's going to be an interpretation of these local ingredients mm -hmm. but it's going to be interpreted as how these chefs have their own experience level so speaking for me um, i'm going to be doing the marathon chicken pasta wow but my take is my father was hungarian his, his roots were from budapest mm -hmm. i'm going to take that marathon chicken pasta and i'm going to make a chicken paprikash which is safe to say the national dish of hungary so i'm going to guess a lot of Namibians never tried that I'm, I'm one of those, a lot of Namibians. <laughs> so we're super excited to bring yeah. that to the table and we're super excited to receive what the local chefs are gonna yeah. present to us as well. Yeah, no, it sounds exciting. And I'm sure it's making us salivate <laughs> when yes. we're hearing familiar yes. food such as horse mackerel. Yeah. Fun fact, horse mackerel in Namibia is known as mass bunker. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay, I did not know that, thank you. Yes. Thank you for educating me. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, uh, Mr. Feather, it, when we look at you know this event that we are hosting, um, how is the local indigenous cuisine also then tying in with a theme which is sustainable sustenance? No, that's a very good question because uh, one of the reasons that uh, Otto jumped into this bandwagon mm -hmm. is because we had lots of local cuisine lots of uh, ingredients that are locally made uh, that can be produced at a bigger level. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have been struggling a bit with the, um, working with communities to grow more of the local, uh, local foods um, because the, the, the education and the advocacy uh, has not really changed much of the local behavior. There's a big machinery around people moving to KFC. Yeah. So how do we stop that train by introducing and pushing for, you know, our, our Mahangu biscuits, mm -hmm. uh, our, um, you know, getting Marula oil onto people's tables. So um, we, we are very thankful to Otto and his team and the, a lot of sponsors behind us who are now promoting this. So bringing the community partners, the youth, the universities into this is really uh, turning out to be something exciting and we look forward to making this grow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, Chef, how do you hope, you know, the Namibians that will be in attendance at the restaurant that you will be cooking at, what do you hope they will walk away with? <laughs> My biggest hope is that your countrymen and women are going to go to this event mm -hmm. and they're going to be so surprised at what took place that they're gonna be motivated into action. And they're gonna leave that event and they're gonna say, what can I do? How can I get involved? How can I make a difference? Uh, I come from this magical place called America where anything is possible and I'm a big JFK fan. Mm. And I'm gonna quote him for you. you know, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. And I'd love for Namibia and the rest of the world to keep that in mind as they go forward and live their daily lives and what they can do to make a change every single day for the better. Wow, beautifully said. All right, um, Mr. Feather, how can those, you know, he, the chef just asked the very viable questions. Um, what he wants Namibians to walk away from this experience is how can I be part of it? And mm -hmm. that is the same question then I am posing to you. Mm -hmm. How can the Namibians um, be part of this initiative? I will take the question from the other side mm -hmm. to, to actually appreciate a lot of Namibians who have actually come into it. Uh, yeah. For this week, especially, we've been impressed with the turnout. Um, the response on social media has been amazing. Mm -hmm. um, we are getting a lot of uh, interest from uh, civil society groups. So all the new um, partnerships that we never really had on the table are coming on board. The private sector is coming on board. Mm -hmm. The restaurants are becoming our big agents of this change. So uh, first of all, I just really like to appreciate those who are coming on board. But again, the, the other side is uh, for, 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 for most of us in Namibia, change starts with us. Mm. So whatever you put on your plate every day, 
um, if you go to Mama Regina in Katima or Mama Veronica in Ocho, mm -hmm. uh, buy some vegetables from them, promote them. Uh, and, and I'm not saying that we shouldn't go into big malls, but we can start this movement by just having our own behavior on how we bring that food to our table mm. using our own local experience and practices. All right. Yeah. Um, please take us through what the programs for the week will look like. Wow, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, so yesterday we had uh, the event at, uh, at the UN house to do the launch. We had a lot of partners there to announce what's on the table. Uh, yesterday evening we had an amazing group of chefs and, and the, our colleagues from the US mm -hmm. doing a very good event at Livega restaurant. Mm. Uh, I understand it went very well. Uh, I was kept away from it because I would finish the food <laughs> <laughs> for the guests. Uh, today, yes. uh, we are going to have the event at Katakombe. Okay. And so we'll have uh, one of Otto's uh, colleagues do a, a bit of fusion of Matangara mm -hmm. into something that is newer. Yeah, because Katakombe is renowned for traditional cuisine. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we are partnering with them. Uh, tomorrow is another very big event at Drombos. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's actually going to be the biggest, and Drombos has really uh, promoted this partnership. So we are looking at uh, uh, how they are going to, to, to make five course meals become ten course meals. Wow. And so um, if you take steps backwards be between those ten course meals and how farmers are producing to serve that ten course meal, it's amazing what mm -hmm. will come out in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then on Thursday, uh, uh, we'll focus on a community interaction in Dodabis mm -hmm. with, the, with the, a community group also taking this experience to the community, not just to stay in Windhoek, uh, and also an experience for the chefs to really get out of Windhoek. I wish they had more time to go as far as on a Matanga yes. or, or, or <laughs> places like Abion. Mm -hmm. And then Friday also is the same uh, community engagement. Um, so. The, the, the week is full, but in between, there'll be a lot of interactions um, encouraging uh, young and upcoming chefs who are training at the Nasty University School of uh, Catering and Tourism to also come and engage. We have other, other trainees of uh, chefs, and, and it's not just about the chefs. Chefs is basically to create that momentum for the food to get to the table, mm -hmm. but behind there is the farmers who need to grow more healthy diets that... Uh, Otto can now enjoy to lay down a nice bed of lettuce uh, at, his, uh, at his miracle uh, table. So, so that's, that's how the week is going to be. Amazing. Yeah. It sounds very exciting. It's yeah. very exciting. Yeah. yeah. All right, as we are wrapping up our conversation, um, today is day two of the first week. What are you most excited about for the week? <laughs> That's an impossibility to answer. <laughs> As George, you know, just laid out, the, the week is full of incredible uh, opportunities and uh, experiences that we're going to share. And um, I can speak on behalf of the chef team uh, from the U.S. that uh, we're just thrilled to be here. We're honored to um, exchange uh, on a cultural educational uh, basis the cuisine mm -hmm. and to take these ingredients that we've never used before and to put our interpretation on them. And in turn, you know, let us use our culinary know-how, if you will, and share that with your local chefs. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a wonderful opportunity. We're super uh, excited about what's going to happen, and we're looking very f forward to the bright future that's ahead with us and continuing this feast. All right. Well, thank you both gentlemen for being here, and all the best with Feast Restaurant Week. Thank you, Matt. All right. Appreciate. Well, that was uh, George Feder, who is the country director and representative for the World Food Program Namibia, as well as guest chef, that is Otto Borish, who is also the founder of Feast. We will be back with more conversations here. Stay tuned. <laughs>